So before all this shit happens, you're a young kid, you start fighting in and around town. How does this even start to evolve for you? Like where you think, oh, maybe I can actually make a living fighting. Oh, I had no idea I could do that. I never grew up, you know, I grew up in Dell here and, um, you What's know. the town over? You guys didn't show up to the high school and be like, all right, boys. Yeah. See you no. at 3.30. No, it was just, uh, uh, I played junior B when I was probably 16. I was 16. And, uh, you know, I never even thought it was the NHL. I never thought it was in the reach. I just, I love the game of hockey. Right. And I went out there and I played hard and I, you know, I skated hard, I four checked hard and I finished my checks. And, uh, when you're 16 years old and you're playing against guys that are, you know, up to 21 years of age, um, you, you finish you a check on them, they're going to come after you. Right. And I just never backed down. And I kind of started honing on my skills when I was probably about 16 years of age. And then, uh, I got drafted by the Cornwall Royals in the 14th round. And my dad says, hey, you're a 14th round draft pick. You're, you're going to get cut up the second day if you don't do anything. And you don't get noticed. So go out there and do something and get noticed in a Same positive way. way. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. In a positive way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I went out there and I knocked out Owen Nolan and a nice clean check. And, oh, and then they sent their team tough guy after me. And, and uh, I did fairly well against him. And Mark Crawford was the coach at the time, and that's how I got Holy my fuck. fucking door. That's yeah. fucking awesome. Owen oh, Nolan was a thick dude. Did not come out with a body check. Is impressive as hell. He he was drafted by the Quebec Nordiques back then. I think it was mm-hmm. ninety one. Yeah. And he was a first overall draft pick. So he came to Cornwall, um, his former team, just to kind of get warmed up before his Quebec camp. And um, yeah, so I caught him with his head down coming across the the blue line and. And then uh, hit him like with a good that. shot. He's a big boy. Oh, yeah. that's a, that would have been thunderous. Yeah. Him, hit, him hitting the ice would have been. Yeah. He, he was, <laughs> yeah. He's a good player overall. He could do it all. He could score goals. He could fight. He could do everything. Yeah. Do you remember the guy they sent after you in that fight? Yeah, yeah. Marcus Middleton. Yeah. yeah. Marcus Middleton. Remember? Yeah. He was about 6'4". He was a big boy. And, uh. And then I got my teeth knocked out. I got a butt end right to the mouth and knocked out my two. He butt ended you with a stick. No, there was another kid that uh, butt ended me in the mouth. And oh, they're all gunning for you after that. Yeah, because he was like a star, probably. I would yeah. Imagine, oh yeah. Right? First so, overall draft pick. Yeah, yeah. Like, so like, yeah. <laughs> and I would you just... take out their first round draft pick. <laughs> so you're 16. Um, I mean, you're going up against guys who are 21 who are starting to fill out. You're giving a lot in weight, and that fighting style kind of fucking follows you you know, up into the league and serves you well throughout your career. And you're always fighting guys who are fucking bigger than you, right? Yeah, pretty was much. That a, so when you were 16, you started to have to figure this out. Yeah, it, it, it just came, you know, I, I had no, like, I wasn't going there to say, I'm going to be a fucking tough guy in the NHL and, and right. kick everyone's ass. I never thought about that at all. I was just, uh, I just loved the game of hockey and I went out and played my game and I four-checked hard, I back-checked hard and mm-hmm. I finished my checks. And, and when you finish your checks, you know, you get people that, Mm-hmm. Don't like that, and they go after you. And I just never backed down, so that's kind of how I got started. So when did you realize you were good at it, though? <laughs> like the fighting part? Uh, it, it's probably training camp in uh, junior A. I was seventeen years of age. Yeah. And I think like a lot of people don't don't realize how many fights actually happen in training camp. Like it's just can be the wild west of like like how many times are you scrapping in a camp? Well. You can get in three scraps, and then you're done. Right? They, they so, toss you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you're allowed three fights per game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> per scrimmage, starting at 10 a.m. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it, that happened a few times. Yeah. yeah. So what-